friends, I cannot believe we are starting week five of Pantry Challenge. I am blown away that January is gone. We did a fantastic job. That was a lot of fun, and this is where it's gonna start stretching us. <laughs> I only have a cabbage in my refrigerator, and it's not looking super great, and I have fresh carrots and fresh onions and fresh sweet potatoes that are the only fresh ingredients we have left. We have yet to spend any grocery dollars at the grocery store for this pantry challenge. Now that we're in February, I am giving myself $10 a week on fresh produce, but if I can try to avoid that, I'm going to. So we have tons of stuff left in our freezer. We have tons of stuff left in our pantry. And now this is where the challenge is gonna start, is starting to cook with those types of things. I already cooked up dinner tonight, which my husband, right here, let me show you. I cooked up some sweet and sour meatballs. I just did some huge freezer prep for my sister. She just had her second baby. And I cooked two meals for her. I did a sweet and sour meatball for her and a macaroni and cheese for her. And I went ahead and made a sweet and sour meatball for me that you just saw and a macaroni for me. So two for her, two for us. And then I did the same thing with these marinated meats. I did six total, three for her, three for us. These are smashed chicken. I don't have a better name for it. It's my mom's recipe. It's basically a garlic Worcestershire lemon marinade and it's fantastic. We also made some fajita chicken, some honey sesame chicken, and a ton of muffins. We have pumpkin muffins and zucchini muffins. Tonight, it's late because I was in the kitchen and I needed that food. My husband could eat it until I was done with all the filming. So I'm gonna call him down and we're gonna eat that along with some of the leftover rice that we had made last week. And that'll be perfect. That'll probably be enough for him and I tonight and then for two lunches tomorrow. And then we have this cabbage, the sweet and sour cabbage that needs to be eaten up. So we're gonna have that with dinner tonight. And then if there's any leftovers, that will go in Josh's lunch tomorrow. So dinner tonight was super easy. I got it done. I just have to warm up the rice, warm up the meatballs a little bit, and warm up the cabbage. And that is dinner for tonight. This recipe is on scratchpantry.com. It is so good. It is one of my favorite freezer meals, honestly. There is quite a bit of sugar in it, but it is so good and it's really easy and it's really easy to make double and put some in your freezer. I think I'm gonna keep the macaroni out and we will eat this sometime this week. And then I haven't decided which one of these meals will cook this, this week. I think I'm gonna keep the fajita chicken out so I can show you how to cook those. Maybe we'll try making homemade flour tortillas. I used to make homemade flour tortillas all the time, but it's been a really long time. If you wanna see how I made all of this stuff, I'll leave the video down in the description box if the video is already out. I'm not sure if this video or that video is gonna be out first. I forgot to mention to you that today is February 1st. Normally I start my pantry challenge videos on Sunday, but Sunday I wanted all that gnocchi and potato gnocchi soup. I wanted that in that video because I kept promising I was gonna make it. And then yesterday we just ate leftovers, which was Monday. So we're starting this week on a Tuesday. One thing I am running low on during this pantry challenge is I only have about this much half and half left in my container. If you live overseas or you don't live in the US, half and half is half cream, half milk, and you can buy it in the grocery store that way, and most people put that in their coffee. So I'm gonna make some almond milk. I have in here almonds and water. It's gonna soak overnight, and then I can show you how to make that when I go to make it. I'm thinking that might sit a little bit better on my stomach while I sip on my coffee throughout the day, but we'll just see, we'll make it up, and probably this week that's what will be in my coffee. So I'm gonna call my husband down. It is already nine o'clock and we have not eaten dinner yet and he's probably starving and I'm hungry. All right, friends, I am so glad that I cooked dinner yesterday because let me show you what we are doing. You can probably already see behind me, painting. My mom texted me this morning and said, hey, I have time right now. Do you want me to come over and help you paint? And I said, absolutely, I'm not gonna miss that opportunity. So in the morning while she was here painting, I was upstairs working. And then toward the afternoon, once I got my video done, then I came down and helped her. My dad came over in the afternoon and they've been cutting in, patching walls, closing holes, doing all the things. It is now 6.30. I've only eaten a couple of those muffins that I made and it is time to get dinner in the oven. I'm starving. You can probably hear Josh coming in the door. Hello. And I don't have to cook dinner tonight. We're gonna have a home cooked meal. No work on my end. All I have to do is put it in the oven and then we're gonna eat a delicious hot 
macaroni and cheese, which will be really comforting. And I'm just really excited to have that. So I turned the oven on 400 because I want it. You can come in, Josh. I want it to cook a little bit faster because I'm hungry. I don't know. Did you bring a lunch today to work? Yeah. All right. So we're going to get this in the oven. Let me show it to you. This is macaroni and cheese. I used, oh, well, great. All my cheese stuck to the top of my foil. But instead of breadcrumbs, I normally put breadcrumbs on top of my macaroni and cheese. I use the Chex Mix because I don't have any leftover bread or breadcrumbs anywhere. So pantry challenge right there. We don't eat Chex or cereal really, so this is a great way to use it up. I just wanted a crunchy top. I'm going to take the time to peel this cheese off here. And then I'm going to tent this foil over... My oven just... My oven just preheated. So I'm going to tent this foil over this and I'm going to put it in the oven. It's probably going to take at least 35, 40 minutes to cook. This is what it looks like coming out. It's nice and bubbly and there is broccoli in this. And that is dinner. Can't wait to dig in. I'm super hungry. I just ate a piece of the cereal, the crunchy topping, and that's really good. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to dish up some for Josh so you can kind of see how nice and creamy this is. So nice and creamy. Super hot still, steamy, broccoli, cheesy, crunchy. Goodness, that's my favorite part right there. So my parents are here helping again with the paint today. I didn't realize that they were coming two days in a row, which is awesome, but I'm upstairs editing. Let me show you real quick what they're doing. My mom is, she's rolled this room completely while I'm upstairs editing a freezer meal video that I did for my sister. And my dad just brought Chipotle, so now I don't have to worry about lunch or anything so we're gonna eat this and I'll see you guys later when I am back in the kitchen I had my almonds and water soaking for two and a half days because I just never got around to making it you do not have to have it sit that long you can even make almond milk the same day if you want to speed up the process of the soaking use boiling water instead of regular water I poured that into my high powered blender and then I just used a little extra water and poured that in as well to get any of the almond bits out and turned it on I use chopped almonds because that's what I had. These were left over from when I did some of those candies that I made over Christmas. You don't have to use a high powered blender. When I used to make this all the time, I just had a cheap $20 blender and it worked just fine. But what I do notice after making it in my high powered blender is that the almond milk stays emulsified in the refrigerator. Once you have it blended up, I blended it for a few minutes. And then all you have to do is strain it and I did squeeze out any of the extra moisture. This is the almond pulp that's left. I used a kitchen napkin and I don't throw that pulp away. I save that pulp and I dried it out and I'm putting it in Josh's baked oatmeal. Now I had some strained and some not strained because I wanted to try the difference and I definitely like it strained better. Hey friends, it is Sunday, February I think it's the sixth today and this is the end of week five of pantry challenge yesterday was my dad's big birthday dinner you probably i don't know which video is coming out first my dad's big birthday dinner vlog where my mom and i make a huge dinner for him or if this pantry challenge video is going to come out first but we ate there yesterday and today we've just been eating leftovers i am going ahead and i'm cooking and prepping some things for dinner tonight and for the rest of the week i'm going to show you what we're going to be doing for pantry challenge week six it's kind of crazy we're already talking about week six of pantry challenge josh and i's anniversary is in february and we, we decided to take a little ski trip to utah in the middle of the week this week and we're going to be there from wednesday to friday so by the time you see this video we will already be back but i don't want to cook a ton of food that we're gonna have a bunch of leftovers in the refrigerator, but I wanna cook enough food tonight so that I don't have to worry about cooking for the next few days because I have a lot of extra work I have to do in order to be ready to go out of town and I don't wanna work while I'm out of town. So I am prepping a few really simple things and we're gonna eat off this for the next few days before we go to Utah. So for dinner tonight, in the crock pot here, I have fajita chicken, a little bit of frozen corn and homegrown frozen poblano peppers. This is one of the meals I made for my sister and myself last week, the freezer meal. My sister just had a baby. That video is already out if you wanna see how I made this. The funny thing is in that video I said that I hardly ever use my crock pot, and it's true, I never use my crock pot, but maybe four times a year, and today is one of those days. I have been literally in my office all day 
and I just needed to use something super easy. It's funny, Roots and Refuge, um, her husband calls me the crock pot queen because I do a bunch of freezer meals and a lot of freezer meals are typically crock pot meals, but I don't cook my freezer meals typically in a crock pot. So it's kind of funny that I've been nicknamed that because I really don't use my crock pot hardly ever, but today is that day where we're using the crock pot. So with this, I have in the microwave two things of cauliflower rice. We're gonna eat this fajita chicken over some cauliflower rice along with some corn tortillas that I just took out of the freezer and some homemade hot sauce, some homemade sour cream. And I need to try these fermented onions. So we're gonna try these in just a minute together. We have some shredded cheese. For breakfast, I'm not gonna make a baked oatmeal or anything this week. We're gonna finish off these muffins. I made these muffins the same day I made the fajita chicken. For my sister, I'll probably throw a few of them in the freezer just so that they'll last us the next few days before we go out of town. And right here, I have a shepherd's pie that I made in the last big freezer cooking video. So this is what we're gonna be eating until we go out of town. I don't have to worry about cooking any vegetable for the shepherd's pie because it has a ton of carrots, peas, celery in it. And then we're gonna eat a bunch of this cauliflower rice. So sides are done, cooking's done. All I have to do is warm this shepherd's pie up. So let's give these onions a try. I'm kind of nervous to try them. We have our onion here. It smells just like raw onion to me. I don't know. I don't know, friends. I'm gonna try it one more time. Nope, 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 nope. I do not like that at all. At all. Nope, just pickled onions. They're like, um, I love the taste of raw onions and it's like a funky fermenty raw onion. I don't know, I'm sorry. If you guys tried those because I did it in that one video and well, maybe you liked them, I don't know because everyone's tastes are different. Let me know if you tried them and you like them but I am never gonna make those again and I'm going to compost those because my chickens are picky and they don't eat onions. So those um, are gonna be composted. Pickled red onions are delicious and I have a ton of those in the refrigerator still from when we made all of those together. So we're gonna have those with our tacos tonight. Those peppers are green and now I have to find the end of this spatula. Oh man, it's been a long day and I'm not in the mood for that, but that's okay. Oh man, let's get those pickled onions out. Those are, well, I guess I don't have a ton, but I do have some leftover pickled onions. Those are just sliced red onions with red wine vinegar and a little bit of salt, and they're fantastic. Look what came in the mail finally. Every single one of the seeds I ordered is here. I'm super excited about it. Tomorrow I'm gonna film an entire seed haul, then I have to have that edited and up before we go out of town. I feel like I'm a little behind on the garden. I did wanna give you an update that the container slash small space garden challenge, I have a hashtag and it's patio to plate hashtag. That's where it's just patio to plate, that's the hashtag. I can't wait, I'm so excited for this garden season. I do feel like I'm a little behind when it comes to the garden and my mom's gonna come over and dad are gonna come over a couple days this week and we're gonna get this painted project kind of wrapped up. This is kind of what my life has been for the last week and I'm blessed that my parents are willing to come over and help me even when I'm upstairs editing or not able to be actively helping them. I found it. Took me about eight minutes to find that. <laughs> I forgot that I had this in my refrigerator. My mom brought this over one day when we were painting and I'm gonna go ahead and make this up for dinner tonight as well. I did package up two lunches for Josh, so he'll have those for lunch for the rest of the week. And yeah, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's gonna be nice to have some screen mix pantry challenge week six. So I'm a mess, but this is the day before we're heading out to Utah for our anniversary trip. And I decided not to bake that shepherd's pie because it was just gonna be too much food before Josh and I left and we wouldn't be able to finish it. So in the microwave, I have, it's gonna be too hot to touch just some frozen broccoli and the leftover cauliflower rice from the tacos. And I'm gonna cook up a few pot stickers 
and just enough for one serving for tonight. I also whipped up just a quick little kind of like teriyaki sauce. It just has soy sauce, Korean red pepper flakes, garlic, sesame oil, and soy sauce. And then we're gonna cook up the pot stickers and that's gonna be tonight. I've been working all day uh, to try to get ready to have videos for you guys while I'm gone. And so my mom actually came over and she completely finished painting down here all the walls. I still have to paint the ceiling, but everything is painted except for the ceiling. And now I just have to clean up. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think this just freshens this up. I wish we had painted two years ago, but it is what it is. Thank you for hanging out with me week five and six. When we get back from Utah, I'm going to start this pantry challenge right back up. I did put that shepherd's pie back in the freezer so that we can use that for another night. So I will see you guys next time. If you want to watch more of my videos, I'll put them right here. If you're new, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's a little different than the other pantry challenge videos. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.